dear Capricorn, this is a reading about what the person most on your mind would want to happen between you two with me, Queen of Cups Tarot. I read in the order of birthday and as an extended member to the channel, you will get these readings ahead of time and with no ads. And there's an all signs reading up, what is the good thing coming my way for the full members to this channel? And what's the divine want? What is it that the divine wants to protect me from right now? Is up for all the members to the channel. Subscribe and then check out the many perks through the join button that will appear, or follow the link in the description box to learn more about membership. And I use the steampunk tarot with Barbara Moore, and I will start shuffling your cards. So when I open your deck here, I see page of swords together with six of wands. Uh, so this person feels um, in some way um, small or humiliated. It as maybe you haven't seen them in the way that they want you to see them. Uh, it seems like they would want to get your attention uh, is what I'm uh, seeing here. Okay, so I call the divine with love and light and here we have the king of wands together with the six of wands so i, I definitely feel like this person wants to prove themselves to you what a um, tough person big strong person they are or how gorgeous they are or how lucky you should be uh, to have them as a friend partner or whatever it is uh, so i call the four archangels in the four corners of the world here we have the five of swords to gain it with six of wands. It's a very combative energy, not in an angry kind of way. It's more like this person wants to make a name for themselves or get attention or make you see them or make you understand what a, a per perfect person they are. It's a person that might, uh, you know, en end up in a bar fight uh, to... Um, in your name <laughs> so to and and then maybe brag about it in some subtle way so that you will understand that they fought for you um it's a peculiar energy but we'll see six of um six elements and we have the two of cups together with the six of wands the six of wands is connected to the lovers uh, card uh, but it's a very masculine way of loving it's um, uh, attraction uh, sexuality feeling lost towards someone wants to uh, it's like a peacock energy someone that wants to display their beautiful feathers so that you will be interested uh, but the um, deeper reason seems to be that this person is romantically interested in you um, it's just a very typical kind of caveman or cave woman way to to show this okay uh, so six elements earth wind fire water spirit and ether to join us here today and to give us a clear view reading for my dear capricorn viewers so i want my dear capricorn to have love in their life and to find themselves in loving relationships also want you to have creative success and to be able to walk on your highest path towards your highest destiny I will tune in for a few seconds to you, the person most on your mind and what this person would want to happen between you two. Seems like at least they want your attention, <laughs> okay. So this is the most likely action, but also the evolution of the relationship. And this is what they would want to have happen. Nine of cups, it's as if you are some kind of trophy or um, if you would uh, give attention to them, they would feel so lucky. So it's not an entirely bad thing, but it has to do with self-enhancement, that your interest or your love, it's like a badge that they can wear on their, um, on their chest, or it's um, some kind of token of, of their value. I can't fully understand this because uh, it's... Uh, it, it, uh, it's not often I have felt like this, so I'm a little bit perplexed how to help you with this person. Nine of Pentacles, this is their most likely action. We have two nines, uh, so that's um, making me um, wonder 
nines are connected to the hermit energy so it's a singles vibe so i guess this person is a singles person and is trying to get your attention the question is what will they do with this attention when they get it if they are like a hermit crab uh, maybe they are a lot of talk and a lot of swag but in the end um, maybe they will have nothing to show for it it will be interesting to see the rest of the story here uh, so this is this person's intentions and another nine nine of swords um, i think this is a troubled person uh, they probably have a little bit problem with their psyche it might be that they are suffering from anxiety voice inside their head um, a lot of um, um, minimizing words that they hear about themselves like you are so dumb or how could you think that they would fall for that or how do you how can you think that anyone would be interested in you uh, so it seems as if this person has a pretty nasty battle inside themselves it's almost like being tormented by a demon's voice i'm not saying that this is the case uh, it's more the level of uh, self-loathing. I don't think this person is actually aware that they have this self-loathing. It's probably something that has been transferred. Let's say that um, maybe their father wasn't entirely happy how this uh, child turned out to be and always let them knew, know that they were a failure. And now this person is trying to uh, show that they are not a failure, that they can uh win success or that people that's uh, very interesting and and loving and attractive can find interest in them so it's almost like everything is that they're trying to prove to this inner voice that it's not true and um, i think a lot of people have this uh, uh, dynamic going on inside almost all people have some degree of this that we uh, not always uh, have the best uh, self-talk inside our head uh, but for this person it's um, uh, it's a little bit um, on the more um, the higher vo volume end of things okay so uh, this is how they feel and it's the seven of wands so again uh, they might drive speedy with their car flex their muscles uh, show a little bit extra leg in the dress they have or uh, push up their boobies or whatever like this person is trying to do to to make them look both cool and a little bit unreachable and in the same way desirable so their feelings for you is mainly to you know spark your interest so you would want to want them they want you to want them uh, so it's not um uh, it's not so complex it's just self-enhancement okay this is how they view you uh, the magician so probably they view you as a person that's hard to get a person that uh, you know sees right through people uh, can value them up so for them it's um, uh, they need to play a certain game uh, to get you to pay interest to them to get them that's um uh, it's like they're crawling on their belly like this and make you see them as someone that comes riding on a high horse and in glory that's um, um that's a hard uh, transformation but this is um, their aim they're trying to make themselves look good in your eyes or even fool you that they are better than what they are or they might tell you about this um, amazing job that they have and the job they have isn't uh, maybe amazing at all. Or, you know, all the people, they might throw names around them, uh, all the people that they know or it's something, uh, it's something bragging about this where they're trying to get your attention again. Uh, this is how they view the relationship, Ace of Pentacles. Uh, for some of these people, it will be just like, a, uh, you know, a stripe on the bedpost and someone like scoring. And for other, it will be a chance to something, maybe get the foot in the door into uh, um, a higher stage of society. Let's say that uh, uh, this person crawls on their belly and now they are able to walk upright when they are in arm, arm in arm with you. Uh, so it's something here where they're trying to get 
to a higher level, a higher state of existing, uh, not just money-wise, it has to do with um, how they see themselves and how they feel inside. Maybe they come from a rough background uh, and, um, uh, and just to live in a normal house or uh, to have two cars or something like that could be a, a big win for this person. Okay, so what they would want to have happen, Ace of Swords, they want to win. Um, they want to win because they don't want to feel like this nine of swords but um, you are just a tool in this game someone that they need to persuade that uh, they are a horse to be bet on um, and someone they need to dupe uh, or to put a mirage in front of your eyes so that you will believe um, that they are who they say they are um, they might be who they say they are they just don't believe it themselves so they might have all the capacity that they're bragging about but uh, to just brag about it instead of uh, you know just focusing on living your best life it should probably be the better options but I think this person feel like they could not have real success or uh, they can't make it on their own it's like they are hit the glass ceiling uh, and it hasn't to do with uh, you know their position in society rather with uh, how they are thinking about their life in their own mind. So uh, the most likely action, two of pentacles, they're just trying to get by. Uh, you would probably dismiss this person as, you know, a fly or something like that. So and, and, and they are trying to be the fly and be so as close to you as possible or get a chance with you. Ace of cups, two or ace of pentacles, two of pentacles, uh, three of wands. <laughs> So they are planning for how to get out of the gutter, uh, basically, how to, the gutter of their own limiting self-thinking, I will add, because it doesn't matter uh, if we are born in a trailer park or in a castle, it matters how we feel about ourselves inside. Uh, if we feel that we are amazing and can reach the stars, then we will be amazing and we will reach the stars. If we think that we are a failure and um, nothing will ever come of our lives, then we will be a failure and nothing will ever come of our life. Uh, so this person is desperately trying something. Uh, you know, they don't know the solution to their situation. They're trying to do something that they think will be the solution. And here we have the star card together with the tower. So here is the divine mixing in to this and to their, their attempts. They might have asked for help or prayed for help in some way and um, then be presented for you, uh, in front of you. So we'll see here. Clarify the star card. Map maker of destiny, authentic purpose, inspiration, free will. It might be that this person have a greater destiny than what the mind is allowing them and that you in some way could be the key uh, to unlock um, their mind so that they will stop thinking in these limiting ways. Clarify the tower. The lady of the gift, generosity receiving withholding. It almost seems like you owe them something. <laughs> Maybe you in once uh, back in the days were the one that put them in this uh, uh, trailer park <laughs> and threw them all back into the ghetto or um, maybe you were some kind of magistry in your town uh, and um, uh, might have um, marked this person in a way as a failure which they are currently living with I'm not saying that this is your fault, but I'm trying, I'm seeing these pictures. So don't take it as your fault. You don't owe this person uh, anything, not in the state that you are in right now, because you don't remember these uh, situations where you might have done that to a person. Um, uh, and, um, and so no one can hold you accountable for this as long as uh, God uh, themselves doesn't come down and say you owe this to this person so I don't want you to take this uh, as your responsibility or think that you, you are owe them anything or need to pay them back I'm just telling the likely story that maybe there's a possibility that uh, um, you have had a great impact in this part on this person's past and you might have a great impact on their future 
six of cups making up kiss and make up i don't know how this will be possible because i would just i'm getting the sense of you feeling like they are this fly and i have studied flies <laughs> they have um, a great longing for social interaction and they're very laid back when they place themselves somewhere on you they will start to uh, clean their little wings and their little legs and be like we have known each other forever but it doesn't mean I would want them <laughs> to hang around with me anyway even if they think we are buddies <laughs> so I think this is the kind of feeling that you might have for this person clarify the nine of swords uh, six of shields uh, this person is some kind of transition between worlds they have a possibility to uh, penetrate to this glass feeling, uh, ceiling of their their limited thinking. But did I say glass feeling? It's like shattered glass, and maybe it's like um, it's like mending a mirror. I think it has to do with mending someone's self image. Maybe it's enough to say something nice to this person. We'll see. Clarify the seven of wands. Their feelings for you. Eight of cups. They definitely feel like you have abandoned them in the past. Uh, you have turned your back against their riches or why, what they had to offer you in the past. Um, you took a look on them and you said, I render you as worthless. So this doesn't have happened, have to have happened in this lifetime. Um, you might have had the glimpse of it. You might have felt like that when you first laid eyes on them um so strange reading this one okay clarify the magician how they view you four of cauldrons like they have offered you something or tried to offer you something for a long time or for many lifetimes and you have always felt like you were too good to accept it maybe you are okay Let's clarify the ace of pentacles how they view the relationship the moon so I definitely think you have a past life karma or drama or trauma that has been going on. And this is just another chapter, start of another chapter or start of another book in the same series of books. Um, you share a past, something has happened. It, it was probably pretty gruesome, uh, but it doesn't mean that this is a burden for you. It's just um, when we when we have gone through that gruesome experience, it's that's what it is. It's an experience. It's something that has taught us something valuable of, of something, either how to not treat people or how to be a better person or uh, how to be a, a, a better person to yourself or take better care of yourself. Uh, sometimes it just has shown you the same image over and over again and you haven't really got the messages yet. It can be like that as well. But that is only what it is. It's experiences and every experience uh, is honoring us even if it was uh, we who killed a lot of people or we got a victim to this and that it's just it's experiences it's universe wants to get to know itself uh, and um, know what's what's right and what's wrong what's going to lead to success what's going to lead to failure it's like a self-discovery journey and uh, we are all being kind of dumped <laughs> into the darkness without a, a map or without a compass or without, without a guiding light. And we just try to wing it as best as we can. So if we do a lot of mistakes, it's because the, the situation is rigged like this. So you don't have to feel ashamed or, oh, God, I did something awful. No, um, you have been through something together with this person. And uh, I can't say exactly what it is, but... Um, I, I definitely feel as if you have really looked down on this person and rendered them as useless or as it wouldn't um, matter what you did to them or what position you put them in because they were so despicable or so ridiculous or uh, and um, that might be uh, something that you will have to reconsider in when the, this karmic a wheel keeps turning it might not be in this lifetime you might still think of them as yeah this lifetime but <laughs> future lifetime it might be that you need to reconsider i think it's always like this we start with one opinion uh, of something and then the world proves us wrong in some way and and shows us another angle of the thing it might be that we 
fall for a prince charming and uh, we see them as awesome and and we love them our whole life and then they prove up to just be an ordinary person with ordinary flaws and, and not able to bring you happiness at all uh, so in the end um, you are changing opinion and you might try something else for example making yourself happy and then you try this and then try that and it's um, um, it's just a way for the world or the universe to show us uh, it's like a prisma uh, where everything is contained uh, in the light it's so many different ways to see things and it just wants to expand your thinking in some way Clarify what they would want to have happen. Ace of Swords, Nine of Swords. That's freaking me out a little bit. Nine of Swords, Nine of Swords, Ace of Swords. Uh, I want to see if this person wants payback. Is this what this person wants? And the payback wedding rings. Yeah, I think they want payback, but they want payback in in the kind of way that that you will finally see them as someone that's worthy, while you will feel that you are uh, a person holding a snake and you would want to get rid of it. And so I can't be wise on this reading. It's um, it's really strange. Okay, clarify the two of pentacles. Clarify the two of pentacles. Uh, the father. Uh, so again, I'm feeling like uh, uh, this person have probably not been supported by different authorities in their life. They were always been uh, told that they were a failure. They were not good enough. They were never able to live up to expectations. So this is this person's uh, yoke around their neck, um, things that they need to uh, carry and also change as we change our opinions we also need to change uh, our whole personality and transform so now they are seeing themselves in a, as a failure and on the other hand they will see themselves in a success and then maybe go back to failure again and it's back and forth back and forth uh, until we have complete knowledge clarify the three of wands ten of swords so uh, they definitely see themselves. See, I see myself as a failure. My father saw me as a failure. God saw me as a failure. The world see me as a failure. I wouldn't want to be this person. Clarify the star card. Uh, seven of Wands is the same as there. So the, the divine guys have uh, guided this person to stand up for themselves and to... Um, uh, try to prove to themselves and to the world that they are worthy so the longing that they have to prove themselves come from a divine source uh, guiding them to go from um, this um, feeling of being worthless to have some kind of dignity so it's not the end game it's just one step in this clarify the tower the devil it's getting gruesomer and gruesomer but it's just this person's shadow, um, I think. The side to them that's unexplored, the side to them that they haven't seen just yet. But why do they have to, you know, why do you have to be mixed in the game? Why is the fly coming and visiting you? Six of Swords. You have some common, kind of common goal. Um, you two, the, the destiny of you both are woven together in... Uh, in some kind of event it doesn't have to be it can be like a, a thing that happens and then it goes away or it can be a longer uh, a longer story but it's it definitely seems like your road are supposed to cross for some reason and you have like something that you need to learn or to solve together to find the light to um, to understand more who you are why you are here um what's the whole thing is about uh, I'm still curious so what is the whole thing about angel of strength so I feel like you are a very strong person you have a lot of capacity that this person lacks uh, will you in your strength uh, offer your capacity to this person and if you do uh, will they make you into some sort of vict victim? It's like um, offering your bed uh, to a um, homeless person and waking up with a knife at your throat. I'm not saying that this wouldn't happen. 
But on the other hand, uh, we say that you don't offer a bed for the night to the person that um, uh, didn't have one. Then it's like you have not used your strength for a good thing. So it's a very peculiar reading, very strange. It's no clear answer. It's, um, it's something you need to figure out uh, for yourself and try to understand if this reading resonates with you. Um, try to understand what it is that you possibly owe this person uh, and what you could do to, um, to even the scores between you or in some way uh, help this person to, uh, right now they're crawling in the bottom of despair, what could you do to give them a helping hand since you are this uh, strong and very wise uh, entity. Maybe you are sent here by the divine in the, their path to be some kind of road sign for them, how to take better care of themselves, how to not um, uh, crawl on their belly in despair, but actually arise uh, and, and become uh, the person that they uh, have the potential to be. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry <laughs> that it, this uh, uh, reading wasn't at all what I expected, but uh, I would still urge you to watch the love reading for September or the what do they want uh, a re to happen reading from previous month to maybe get another angle or uh, potentially get another reading that's more fitting to your situation. On the end screen, you will see a, a link to this reading. So go and check it out. You can also order an almost personal reading from me with the topics. Will they come back? What do they feel or your future love? You can find more information in the description box of this video or visit my webpage queenofcupstaro.se where you can also order personal readings and sessions. And to get weekly premium content readings from me, join as a member to my channel. Thank you for watching this far. Remember to like and share this video to help the channel out and hit the bell notification to um, get updates when the next video is up. Until then, stay blessed and bye for now.